Well, welcome back. For those of you that are new, I am Leanne, and I'm the owner and creator here at uh, Bubbly Suds. The dogs must hear kids outside. But anyways, I was just in the middle of making some of uh, my um, crayon soaps. And I thought, uh, you know what? I'm about to make another batch. So I thought, eh, I will bring you guys along. <laughs> so let's get ready. And yes, I have a hairnet. Um, it's, it is melt and pour that I'm using. But because I'm selling them, they uh, I put the hairnet on. Oops, look, I got a fly away. So I got to stuff that in. But the crayon soaps are such a big seller at my vendor events. And I've got like a whole weekend one and it's a big one so I've got uh I'm almost out so I'm gonna make a bunch of them <laughs> so let's uh let's get to that and I'll show you what I do all right and again because I am selling them I do wear my gloves if I was just making it for the kids and family then no I usually don't but all right so we will just start with um, eight ounces here. Oops. And I'm out just putting these in the microwave. So I do cut it up into cubes melts easier. I, I don't uh, scorch the soap. Alrighty. And then what I like to do, so I'll do three crayons per package. So that'll be three different colors. And I do three different fragrances as well. This is like the most time consuming of this whole thing. Doesn't even take long for uh, for the soap to harden once you you mix it. Then I just, yeah, I usually just do eight ounces at a time. There we go. And then I'm going to put these in the microwave and I'll do, I'll start it at like, um, at, uh, like 10 seconds or so. There we go. All right, let's throw this in the microwave. I'm going to melt it down and I will be right back. All right, so that is melted down. And actually what I ended up doing was I took it down to um, four ounces. All right, so I had gotten a recipe like, and they had said one tablespoon of mica to eight ounces of the melt and pour. But it really, it, I, I use like a teaspoon, less than a teaspoon, and that was still too much. So, I mean, so I've got four ounces. So I'm gonna just see here. Just, I've got this little spoon. Let me just see. Because I don't think it needs because one tablespoon to the eight ounces was way, way too much. So even half a tablespoon. And I only did less than a teaspoon and it was way too much. So you just kind of want, I suppose, experiment with what you are doing. Because you want to have enough mica in it that when 
the kids are drawing on the tub and on the wall that the color actually stays on the wall. And the rubbing alcohol helps the to disperse the little chunks of mica because sometimes it doesn't um, dissolve properly in the melt and pour. All right, so, and I mean, you don't even have to to um, add fragrance. I just like to add the fragrance. I've got so much fragrance and then honestly, I just want to get rid of it. So, I put the fragrance in. All right, let's put that on there. And then what you're gonna do is you will check your, um, the fragrance that you're, oh, the battery must be getting low. It's hard to see. Um, check the fragrance that you're using with the company and uh, it'll tell you how much you can use. Mix that nice and good. Mm. And for my yellows, I just use the uh, banana coconut. It smells pretty good. Kids like that fragrance. All right. At least my kids do anyways. All right. So, let's see. And then I picked up these uh, molds off of um, Amazon. Let me just... And there's different ones. There's these ones here. They're kind of cute. And they say crayon inside. And they're a little bit smaller. And then I find that these ones here, um, like so this one is a frog and maybe a bear, a paw. So I find these ones um, work out to about um, roughly about an ounce. An ounce or so. It depends how much you fill it. All right, so let's see. We will do a paw. All do a paw and a bear. All right, and these ones over here have um, their flowers. So, and a butterfly. Let's do a butterfly. Oops, and I guess I'll do this flower. So as you see, I did four ounces and I got about four, I got four crayons. Alright. There we go. Alright. So I will be back. I'm just gonna mix up uh mix up my next color. Here we go. Go for the next color. What did I do with my spoon? I'm not sure. You think by now I'd be used to wearing gloves and be able to get these things open. Sometimes just a pain in the butt. All right, just a minute. All right. Well, I don't see my spoon, so what I think is I left it in the. Um, I left it in the yellow, the yellow monk. All right, let's just go like this. You know what? I might as well just leave it in there too. All right. All right. So yeah, the other one I used the banana coconut. This one I'm using um, unicorn poop. Alright, there we go. Ooh, it's got like a sweet smell. Alright, let's get this mixed up. And as you see, sometimes it just does not mix very well. And the more you mix, the more bubbles you get, air bubbles. 
so will you spray it with your rubbing alcohol it'll take out your bubbles and disperse that mica yeah and I like to make sure that it is mixed really well because you don't want uh, your mica just floating at the bottom because you got too much okay all right we'll get these two poured over here oops I always spill I don't know why all right let's do this flower I will be back. Like I said, I do three in a pack, so I'll be back for my last color. Alright, here we go. Last color, last fragrance is red. So we've got red, and we will do cotton candy for this one. do is I would do like this whole each one all the red all the blue but I just wanted to do this quick so I could show you and then once as soon as I'm done this and it hardens I will show you oops I forgot to spray it um, I will uh, show you the packaging how I package it and the labels all right let's get this mixed really well here Cotton candy smells so good. The unicorn poop kind of reminds me of the cotton candy, but not as uh, strong of a smell. Fragrance. All right, let's just pour this in here. that is hardened up I will be back all right so they're ready I've got a couple that I did purple and so what I do is I have um, sticker paper I just ordered it off of um, Amazon I've got my uh, ingredients the ingredients I found on um, wholesale wholesale supplies plus is uh, website um, for the melt and pour and then you know I just add my den fragrance because that's on um, what I've got in there, put my caution, and uh, yeah. So now let's turn this around and let's just trim this down and uh, get this. All right, let's see here. Sometimes it's hard to. Get 
these even. Let's try that. Yep. Okay. I'm just going to do one really fast. I just want to trim this a little bit more. All right. Uh, still not even. <laughs> for now all right and then the, I bought these I also bought these off of Amazon I'm trying to think if these are the 557 that I bought all right let's just pull one out all right and then they just open up Probably fit four, but I fit three. And then I just, I mean, you don't really have to, but um, I do seal these. So let me get that. First, let's put, I just, so I take my, um, oops, I take the, ingredients, and I just kind of put it right on the back. And then I'll show you the ceiling. All right. So we're just going to put it in here. And then I just kind of just check. Yeah. So if you look, I'm not sure can you, if you could see now it's got that line right across there. And that's where it's sealed. And then that's it. There. All right. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I um, hope you give it a big thumbs up. And for those that are watching the videos and not subscribing, I can see you. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And uh, if there's anything that you'd like to see, any, you know, um, any type of soaps or just something, um, even if I don't know, I can try to find out. Um, but, uh, yeah, hit that thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs>